Hello, my name is Rob Savoy. I'm the senior tech lead at HUT and the software architect of the field mapping task manager project. But right now, I'm going to introduce Ni Lima and Susmina, who will actually talk about this project in a lot more detail. Hi, everyone. I'm Susmina Manda from Nepal. I represent Noxa, the technical development consultant for the field mapping tasking manager project by HOT. Um, and it's really amazing to see how code for all team and the entire community have come up with this platform where we can share and collaborate our ideas and innovations to the community. Um, our teams at HOT and NOXA have been working in various sectors in providing humanitarian aid and response with the use of data and technologies. So talking about data, data is abundant. I mean, you can find any sorts of data from anywhere. But it's very rare to find a data that's complete and content with enough of information. So this is the, uh, the gap that we uh, find in and we want to fill in this gap. So the solution that could actually fill in those data gaps is field mapping. And field mapping is just basically going out into the field and collecting those informations uh, it could be of a feature, maybe it could be of an individual, a household, or any sort of uh, conditions that is actually uh, existing in the real world. Uh, so why field mapping? As I said, uh, there are like lots of gaps, data gaps, especially. So we want to fill in those gaps. And the more the attributes a data has, the more comprehensive and its usefulness will be uh, valid. Um, so there are like different field mapping tools uh, that, we can, that we can use uh, to gather data sets. There are ODK, OSM and organic maps and many more. So uh, yeah, this is where we're trying to streamline the field mapping activities and make the field mapping process a little more easier, manageable to the users. Uh, so this is where we, uh, we've developed the field mapping tasking manager. And a field mapping tasking manager is a project that's owned by HOT and it aims to provide a tool uh, to coordinate the field mapping activities in various open mapping campaigns. So uh, the field mapping tasking manager is not just a mobile application for data collection, but it is a full fledged mobile and web application that can be used by different uh, users. For example, project managers. The project managers can use the field mapping tasking managers to coordinate their field mapping activities. So similarly, field mappers, the people who would actually go to the field and collect data sets, they can also use the FMTM project. So keep in touch to know more about the features in FMTM by Nilima. Hi, I'm Nilima Mohanty, Outreach Intern at HORT from India. The unique features that make FMTM different from all other mapping applications around the world starts with defining your field mapping area, splitting the project area into smaller tasks using the best splitting algorithm, OSM data extraction, uploading standard or customized forms, task allocation and resource management, and integration with ODK Collect. If you don't know about ODK, it is a free and open source set of tools that allows users to create, collect, and manage data with mobile devices. Finally, after you have done this, there's a feature to download and visualize field submissions followed by remote supervision of field activities. The newest and the latest feature of FMTM is data confession, which means after the data has been converted to OSM XML, it is masked against the existing OSM data before validation by human. So does it end over here? No, it doesn't. Many other features like user roles and permissions, a user level dashboard for visualization, monitoring progress, statistics, community level engagement, and many more are coming up in the upcoming features of FMTM. Currently, FMTM has been deployed at three places, Dominica, Cameroon, and Rwanda. The credit for leading the FMTM team, of course, goes to Ivan Gaton, the senior humanitarian advisor at HOT, and Rob Savoy, the senior technical lead at HOT. And finally, a big shout out to our partner, NAXA, OSM community collaborators, 
technical teams and all our volunteers. FTM tool is a special tool because it is a component of HOT's efforts to support disaster management and humanitarian efforts. Now, after hearing this, do you want to try a demo? Let us help you with creating your first field mapping project with FMTM. To know more about this, you need to find and check out our documentation at FMTM wiki pages. Volunteers from all over the world are welcome to contribute to FMTM project at our FMTM GitHub repo. For that, you can check out our contribution guidelines. To join the hot walking group, just pick up your phone and scan the QR code here or at your screen right now. And if you face any further issues, feel free to drop us an email at the following email addresses at your screen. Finally, I want to thank to all the Code for All team and also civic enthusiasts, civic tech enthusiasts all of the world who are watching us. Thank you.